All right, so story time. So I have never been a very patient kitty cat when it comes to receiving my gifts around Christmas. I always wanted to know what I got before it was Christmas day. And I hate surprises, okay? So I always knew when my mom would go Christmas shopping because she would have my older sister babysit me and my other siblings for like a little bit. And whenever I would ask my sister where mom went, she would always just kind of like smirk at me and just tell me not to worry about it. I don't know, they'd come up with some kind of excuse, right? But you knew, you knew what they were doing. So so I always knew what that meant. Christmas shopping. And you know something? I think my older sister helped our mom wrap the presents because, you know, I always kind of felt like they were really close to each other. Maybe it's just because I was little Yume and they wouldn't ever let me in on their adult talk. So I started scheming how I was going to find out what my presents were this year. I have a lot of siblings and I went up to one of my other siblings and asked if they wanted to go on a little okay. adventure with me. Now, I just want to say ahead of time that I already knew about Santa, but my younger sibling didn't. And I made sure that this adventure I told her we were gonna go on was to help Santa find our Christmas presents because they got lost somewhere in our house. And of course she totally believed me because you know, I'm much older than her and she always wanted to be a part of my crazy Mama, schemes. And if you've been in my chat long enough, you know I have a lot of crazy schemes that happen on this stream all the time. So from there, my sister and I stayed up really late one night and started searching the house looking for our Christmas presents. You know, like we would check, let's see, the kitchen sink, the closet, the couch. Yes, underneath the cushion couch seats. Sometimes presents could hide under there. You never know unless you check. The washer, the dryer, pretty much everywhere. But you know, we couldn't find anything, so we gave up searching. And now my younger sibling eventually got bored of wanting to search. And I think she forgot entirely about the whole plan, but I didn't because I was determined. I searched high and low or well anywhere I could actually reach until one day I found them. Yeah, I actually found them. It took me days, but I found them. And I couldn't believe it. After days of searching, only one night, literally one night before Christmas Eve, I found the hidden stash. Guess where they were? The presents were hiding in my older sibling's room in her closet. She just so happened to be out that day, which is why I was able to check inside her room. I looked in there and all I could see was this like sketchy looking trash bag, which I knew that's where the goods were. And once I looked inside, and I could see all the presents neatly wrapped for all of my siblings. That's when I knew. I found the secret stuff. My other siblings were just playing and doing whatever young kids do, I guess. I was the only one that was really committed about this. So I started sifting through the presents, looking for mine, because I didn't care about my other siblings' gifts. I cared about what I got. So I saw all my siblings' gifts in there, even my mom's gift, but I couldn't find my present. And I was really confused thinking that maybe I didn't check them all carefully. So I emptied out the bag and put each gift back inside the bag if it wasn't mine. And upon picking up the last present, I realized it wasn't mine and that my gift wasn't in the bag at all. I had literally looked everywhere in the house for presents. And when I finally found the gifts, I realized my mom apparently didn't buy me anything. She forgot little old Mari. <laughs> yeah, um, I didn't have a gift in there. Everyone else did though. It is sad. I got really sad and started panicking, wondering why I didn't get a gift. So I went back to my room and started crying like I usually do because I thought everyone forgot about me. And then I got an idea. If I couldn't have any Christmas presents, then nobody else can either. <laughs> Let me take a sip of my tea before I continue. So while I'm working on my tea, if you've been enjoying this story so far, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Mari Yume content. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's Christmas Eve and I waited for everyone to fall asleep. I waited a good while too because not only did I have to wait for everyone to fall asleep, but I had to wait for my mom to put the presents under the tree. I think it was about 4 a.m. that I decided to peek my head out quietly while my siblings were asleep and I went over to the Christmas tree to check if the presents were there and yes they were all beautifully wrapped and looking so pretty perfectly waiting for everyone to wake up on Christmas and open them I hated it perfectly little wrapped gifts and not one for Mari mm. I'm not bitter about it by the way so I started grabbing all the gifts I could hold with my tiny little arms mind you it was also very dark in there so I couldn't see that well and I took all the presents and went into my room opened up my window <laughs> and I threw the presents outside. <laughs> I kept doing this process, dumping out my siblings' gifts, feeling so proud of myself for getting back at everyone for forgetting about me. 
listen, I was a kid. What did you expect? And I remember grabbing this one small box I didn't recognize from the other day and I couldn't see because it was really dark. So I went back into my room and I turned on my like little tiny, what was it? Like a little Hello Kitty lamp so I could look at it. And guess what? Guess what it was? It was another gift from my older sibling. <sighs> Ooh, ooh, I was so mad. I threw it out the window and then went to bed. So it started to become morning and I am dead asleep from being up so late. So I really don't know what happened in terms of who discovered the Christmas tree and then told my mom. But I do remember getting violently shaken to wake up on my older sister saying, Mari, wake up. Did you do something to the presents by the tree? And I was just like all sleepy and confused. Then I realized everyone in the house was awake and all looking at me. It was really awkward because um, it was pretty obvious that I had something to do with it since I'm usually the first one awake sitting by the tree and this was the the first Christmas I wasn't and I don't even remember what I said to them I, I don't know I don't know I just remember my sister shaking me more being like where are the presents and I'm just like super tired and annoyed at this point so I pointed at the window and my mom looks out and sees our presents on the ground covered in snow and um I got my Christmas gift all right and my booty has never been more red since then I think I got a permanent bruise on my left butt cheek but come on you know you should feel bad for me okay how come everyone else got presents except me I'm not perfect but I don't deserve nothing. And you know, actually, they were all wrapped in boxes. So even though the wrapping paper was soaking wet, the actual gift inside wasn't damaged or anything. So they ended up being fine and happy, playing with their new gifts. I don't know, it just wasn't fair that everyone else got gifts except me. And I remember my older sister coming up to me, asking me how my butt felt. And I'm just covered in like tears. It was like an ugly cry, just snot and tears and shame. I think I threw a rock at her or something. I, I don't know. I don't even know where I got the rock. But she tosses me something back and I look over and it was a gift neatly wrapped with my name on it. Yeah, I was so confused. And I looked at her asking her where she found this. And she said, mom and I know you try to look for your gift every year. So she had me go out the other day to get your gift last minute to prevent you from trying to open it too early and spoiling the surprise. And I asked her what it was and she's like, it's Christmas, just hey, open yo. it. So I did. And guess what? Guess what it was? No, it wasn't coal. It was a Game Boy Advance with a Sonic game. Yeah, it was really cool. So I wiped the boogies away and got so excited to see this because it was something that I asked about all year to get and I actually got it for Christmas. I was like, yo, Pog, <laughs> Sonic. Okay, look, I started feeling really bad about what I did with everyone's gifts and I started apologizing for ruining Christmas and my mom asked me if I learned a valuable lesson and I said I did. She asked me what it was and I think my response was something like, I don't know, I shouldn't ruin other people's Christmas just because I'm impatient or something like that. Look, I really can't remember. It was a long time ago, but I do remember shortly after after that, my sister grabs my Game Boy from me and says that she's going to quality check it to make sure it's working or something. And me being like, no, 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 no. So her and I started fighting. And then my mom got really annoyed, sent us both to our rooms without our presents for the rest of the day. And that was when I learned the real lesson of Christmas. With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> Sorry, I... I, I <laughs> I really don't remember the lesson. I just saw the new Spider-Man movie and just thought that was a good way to end the story. But I hope you enjoyed that story time. I didn't. How old was I? Yes. Next question. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to my video. I'm sorry I couldn't get it out, you know, on Christmas like I originally was planning, but I wasn't feeling very well and I was, uh, you know, worried it might have been the, the C word, but it wasn't, so we're okay. And you know what? Better late than never. That's what I say. I just wanted to give a little special shout out to all of my coffee supporters as well as everyone who's made all the wonderful fan art that I got to use in my previous videos this year. It makes me so happy that you think of your little old Mari. And don't worry, 2022 Mari's coming for you with lots of brand new fabulous content. I will see you all around at the boba shop. Thank you so much everyone. Bye!